Here's another question that we get asked out here on the farm is how do you irrigate? This is the start and point of our whole irrigation system is a pond. We put a pond in to settle the, the big pieces out of the, the water so they don't plug the filters up and it helps with settlement. And then the, it goes from the pond into these sand media filters which filter the water down so well enough that uh, they'll go through the drip system. Well, this is uh, enough filter system for about uh, 60 acres, two tanks, 36 inches big. And we have a 10 horse pump to make pressure. And then it goes out into the main line, which is right underneath my feet through the valving. And at this time, we also pump fertilizer into the hops and we inject it really slow. They say about, oh, on the average, about seven pounds a day if you get set up and just go real slow. And when we irrigate, we use UN32 in a liquid form in the fertilizer tanks. So um, it's uh, the beginning of our irrigation process. We're, we're out here at the field, we're pumping the water up to screen it to get the moss out of it. And then it runs through a 10 horse, a seven horse pump into the sand media filters on down through the main line out to the field. And then we have our fertilizer tank here, which runs through our fertigation pump that pumps a little bit of fertilizer back into the main line at all times. Come from the filter station and now we're out the uh, field and this is an electric valve that turns the water on and off at desired uh, time frame which you can set it from anywhere from one hour running time to 12 hour running time. We run it about every three hours and it will switch between valves. There's four of these valves, electric valves out in the field and they'll just, you pick your desired time and it will, it, it will turn on and off. It's uh, got electric solenoid here, battery operated. When this electric valve, it will open up, it lets the water, we call this a sub-main, goes into the sub-main here, which is usually set up in, uh, all depends on the irrigation system, the way it's designed. It opens up uh, between five and six acre blocks that they run so the valves can take care of about five to six acres. And then we switch the time alternating. Every three hours we'll, it runs and then it will move to the next valve. And it goes into the drip hose that's laid out in the field. Um, as you can see here, it wets the ground pretty nice. The spacing on the drip hose, this is a drip hose and it's got emitters in it and there every uh, 24 inches there'll be a hole and this particular type is a ram pressure compensating drip tube so you got another one right here but it will soak between them this emitter and that one and it will wet up over time. And the reason that they run on an every three hour uh, time frame is it's uh, try to get an hourglass effect. When it runs, it fills the profile of the soil to get it wet. If you let it run all the time, it would just wash uh, uh, kind of a hole in your soil and your, in your fertilizer that we put in would get too deep and wouldn't stay in the root zone. And uh, drip has been a a big improvement for us instead of real irrigation. It's a nice, it's a little bit more of a management deal, but it's doable. We do put our fertilizer, like I said, through it. We also um, flush the lines about once a month. We'll go to the far end, which I'll show you a little bit. In a little bit, you undo the lines and let the dirt flush out of it because there still is some dirt in it.
It's flushing the filters. It's taking each tank, the top of this one, that puts the pressure on the bottom of that one, and it flushes the sand media out, which you'll be able to see that turn colors here pretty quick. It's uh, it, the colors, the dirt that the tanks have flushed out. Ta-da! <laughs>